The iPhone X described our vision for the future of the smartphone. Today, we're extending that vision with significant advances across three entirely new products. iPhone XS, iPhone XS Max, and iPhone XR. This is QSun2 here. What's going on, you guys? So if you guys haven't already known, there was a huge Apple event earlier this week. It was huge. I mean, just look at how they, how they refreshed the website. It looks absolutely gorgeous. So much happened this week. This Apple event was amazing. Now, they talked about a lot of stuff during the event. They talked about iOS 12, watchOS 5. But, you know, it's always cool to get those yearly updates. But what I'm most excited about, new series for Apple Watch. Now, I uploaded a video over the summer because you guys remember I had broke my Apple Watch, unfortunately. And I've been waiting to upgrade. My goal was to upgrade. And I'm going to get the Series 4 Apple Watch. Plan to get the gold one. Because it just looks like... Because I wanted to match my iPhone. Which is the title of this video. Which iPhone I'm also going to buy. So the event mostly covered three new iPhones that came out. If you guys aren't aware... Because I know some of you aren't... Don't keep up with the latest tech stuff going on. iPhone XR, iPhone XS, iPhone XS Matte, XS Match. Max, oh my god, all the jokes got me. iPhone XS Max. Crazy new updates, just an us upgrade, nothing too major, but I am excited because I'm, I still have an iPhone 6, which, this, like I said, my service is going in and out. I have 3G right now. It might last me like 5 more minutes, maybe 10. But my service has been going in and out for the longest, so that's why I'm really excited to upgrade. Which iPhone I'm getting? Well, I really looked at like... I decided that I'm planning to go all out this year, and the iPhone XR, why it does start a little cheaper, it's 6.1 inch, and I'm not really too big of a fan of pho big phones, actually. Like, you know, even this phone's kind of big, but, you know, I have to get, you know, small phones aren't really, you know, there anymore, so I'm planning to get the iPhone X, the iPhone XS, 512 gigabytes. I was really debating on, like, what gigabyte configuration I was going to get, because I'm almost filling up 128 on this phone. And if I got the 256, that means I only have 128 left then because I have 28, 128 from here. But I think I'm just going to get the 512 just to call it safe because I'm going to be using my phone, you know, to make a lot of videos, to edit some videos, and just, like, you know, as my daily thing to run the whole everything, you know. I use my, my phone to run, like, you know, a lot of my social media and all that other good stuff. So I'm going to be getting the iPhone XS, the gold one, and just look at this. Like, look how beautiful this iPhone looks. Which is why I'm so excited to get a matching gold Apple Watch Series 4. I mean, gold has never looked that beautiful before. I'm really excited for iOS 12 because it's supposed to make iPhones, you know, the older iPhones, a lot faster. So hopefully when it does come out, you guys' phones, people who have older iPhones, they, you know, work, you know, work faster and whatnot. Plus, you know, the new, the new group FaceTime, a bunch of other cool features, you know, the notifications. Cool features I'm really excited for, Watch OS 5. I love, like, Apple Watch, my favorite piece of tech. I'm probably going to get that before I even get upgrade my iPhone. Mostly because I didn't pre-order it. Stay up midnight and pre-order it because I was at work. So, unfortunately, and most of the stuff is, you know, not going to be in stock right away. In fact, it said if I was still, like, ordering it right now, it'd get to, like, October. So, having the new watch, new old phone, either at the end of this month, if they restock up fast enough, or probably early October. No rush. No kind of for the phone, because I really need a phone. But the iPhone XR is amazing. I was talking to my friend Jose, and he was saying that he thinks the sales are going to be that are going to the sales for the iPhone are going to be really huge this this quarter. Like yeah, he's like like he was telling me like I really can't wait to see Apple sell this sales this quarter. I want to see how that turns out, and I'm excited too. You know, I think the XR is really cool. I mean, me personally, if I was just like if I if I didn't want that gigabyte configuration on the XS. I think the 10R is like really cool. Like I like how you know the six new colors, and I feel like that. Was, I felt like that was gonna be a main selling point. Like, cause this new phone, not even at the flagship level, but it is almost at the flagship level. Cost 750 instead of a thousand dollars, and it has like like the specs are like on par with the 10S. So the 10S Max, that's just too huge for me. You know, I'm not really like I said, not big a fan. Of, not a big fan of huge phones. So I'm excited. This event was huge. It was amazing. I love, like, every event they have. I love, I go crazy when they say, boom, they announce this. You know, it's like the hype, you know? So that's why I, I, sometimes I try to keep myself away from the tech video.
But let me know in the comments below what you guys are going to order, what excited you at the event. Most exciting thing for me was the Apple Watch, definitely hands down. Can't wait to get that in the mail. Probably will have both all my devices, like I said, in October because, you know, gotta wait for the stuff to get back in stock and whatnot. Anyways, don't forget you guys, life is sweet right now. Pure honey. Our utterly uncompromised vision for the future. iPhone XS and iPhone XS Max.